Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining me today. We're gonna to be checking out how to set up a NAS on your ASUS router. Although it's not gonna be a NAS and probably what you've seen in movies where you have like multiple drives connected to each other. This is gonna be a lot more of a streamlined process. Uh, we're gonna be setting it up on an ASUS router. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's go ahead and make sure that you have a USB 3.0 drive. It could also be USB 2.0, whatever floats your boat. Uh, just make sure you have the optimal storage that you need for your use case. And go ahead and plug that into the back of the router uh, as seen in the photo here. Now, once you have your USB plugged into the back of the router, you should see it pop up on your screen of your router's dashboard. Uh, and you'll see it here at the bottom. Now there's two things you could do here, right? We can do AI Cloud 2.0 or we could do USB application. And here, what you can do is set up a cloud disk. Uh, cloud disk works kind of like your own personal iCloud, think of it that way, but it requires a DDNS and I'm gonna show you a more secure way using USB application. Once the USB application loads, we're gonna go ahead and click on Server Center. And we're doing this because we're gonna be setting up a Samba. And so on the screen, you can see in the top middle, Network Place, Samba, Share, Cloud Disk. Let's go ahead and click that. All right, so once you're set up here on the screen, Network Place, Samba, Share, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and enable the share. You're gonna get a prompt, just go ahead and click OK. Let it apply its settings. All right, so one thing I wanna point out is the maximum number of concurrent connections. So this is how many devices can connect to the share at any given moment. So if you live alone, you could just put it to one. Uh, next, let's go ahead and add a user. Let's go ahead and click this little plus sign. And let's call this account for John, let's say. And then we just gotta enter in a password. And so like if you live with other people, you could give them their own account to log in. All right, so now that it's done, uh, we can go ahead and expand this down. You can see our drive here. Um, so let's go ahead and add a folder. Uh, go ahead and click on that little plus icon. Let's give this folder a name. So maybe something like shared documents, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if there's too many characters. Yep, see, 12 characters may make it invisible. Uh, you know, so let's just go ahead and shorten this. So maybe we can do something just like, I don't know, uh, documents. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so right now you can see uh, this is the access. Let's talk about access. So you can see the ASUS account, the default account. It's got read, write access. Um, you can do read, you can do no access. Same thing goes for John that we just created. So we can give John read only access. And whenever you create a new user, the default access is gonna be no, just an FYI. Uh, it's very important to understand that. Um, but let's go ahead and give uh, you know read access for this account. Now, another thing I wanted to show you all is this little field here called device name. So this is important because this makes it easier to go ahead and map to this uh, actual NAS um, instead of having to memorize an IP address for your router. Um, so let's go ahead and give this uh, device name a name. Uh, let's do something like Asus NAS, you know, whatever tickles your fancy, you know, whatever gets you uh, going. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up. One more thing I wanted to go ahead and point out. Uh, this allow guest login. What this will do is it'll eliminate the password requirement for people to access the files on the drive. This is great if it's a open network setting, let's say at like a workplace or something like that. All right, so let's get to our PC. Let's go ahead and map this network drive over to your computer. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is on our file explorer, we're gonna go over to the left-hand side where you see this PC. Go ahead and click on that and then click the little drop down, the three little dots, and we're gonna select Map Network Drive. From here, you can give it a drive letter. Doesn't matter which one, whatever makes sense to you. Let's just choose Y here. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and type in our NAS device name. So it's gonna be, you know, uh, slash slash Asus NAS. Um, and then we have to remember that we're gonna go ahead and put in the folder that we're trying to connect to. So in this case, it would be Documents and connect using different uh, credentials. Those are like the logins. So like right now I can go ahead and log in as John. Um, so put in his name, I put in his password, and then we just go ahead and click OK. And then just like that, we're inside the folder. Now there's something to think about. If you're not at home, how do you access your files? 
Well, that's where the VPN comes in. And I actually cover that in this next video. I teach you how to set up a VPN server. Uh, this way you can securely connect back to your home network and access anything on your file share. Be sure to check that out. And if you found this video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe. It does help the channel out. Till next time.